With NG Desk, you can create your own custom modules to meet your specific business requirements. For example, you could build a custom module to manage sales leads, monitor marketing campaigns, allocate budgets, and maintain an employee database. In this video, we will walk through creating an employee module that can be used to manage and maintain employee-related information. There are five steps involved in setting up a custom module. Creating the module. Creating custom fields. Adding web create layouts. Adding web edit layouts. And finally, creating list layouts. Step one of creating a custom module involves defining the basic details of the module. To do this, navigate to and select modules from the sidebar and click New in the top right corner. Enter the name of the module you wish to create. This will be the default name for the module. It is important to note that you cannot change the module name once the module details are saved. You are also required to provide both the singular and plural version of the module name and have the option to enter a brief description for the module. Click Save to create the module. You will now see your new module appear in the sidebar. Step 2 of setting up your new module involves adding custom fields. To add custom fields to your module, navigate to and select Modules from the sidebar and select your new module. In this case, it is the Employee module. Then select the Fields option from the Module menu. By default, your new module will have a few predefined fields that you can see here. Note that these predefined fields cannot be edited or deleted. Click New in the top right corner to create a new field for this module. Enter a display name for the custom field. Select the field's data type and click Next. Then you have the option to enter any help text for the field, set a default value, set a maximum number of characters for the field, or make the field hidden or required. In this example, we want the field Employee Name to be a required field. Once you have completed the details to your requirements, click Save. You can repeat this step to create all the custom fields as required for your module. Step 3 involves adding a Web Create layout, which will be the template for inputting new data records within the module. In the Layout section of your new module, select Web Create Layouts and then New in the top right corner. Enter a name and a relevant description for the new layout, and select a role to define the user group, which will be able to access this layout. Then, drag and drop the desired fields into the layout template. It is important to note that when building Web Create and Edit Layouts in a custom module, Teams is a required field. You will not be able to save or edit the new data records if the Teams field is not added to the layouts. You can resize fields by selecting the Resize icon and adjusting the slider to increase or decrease the width of the field. Once you have finished adding all your required fields, click Save in the top right corner to create the layout. Step 4 involves creating Web Edit Layouts, which will be the template for when you edit records. Navigate to Layouts in your new module and select Web Edit Layouts. Click New in the top right corner. Give the layout a name and a brief description. Select a role to define the user group which will be able to access this layout. Drag and drop the fields as required into the layout template. Click Save in the top right corner to create the layout. Finally, in Step 5, you need to create a web list layout which will be the distinct layout for viewing the data in this module. To do this, navigate to Layouts in the module, select Web List Layouts, and click New in the top right corner. Give the layout a name and brief description. Select a role to define who can view this layout and decide if you want the layout you are creating to be the default list layout for this user group in this module. Define the conditions to filter what records you want to view in this layout. In this case, there are no condition restrictions because we are creating a default layout with all employees. Now, drag and drop the fields from the available column you want to view in the layout to the shown column. You can create multiple list layouts to create pre-built filtered views of your data. You can now begin adding new data records or edit existing ones. Define validation rules to ensure accuracy of data being entered. Set up triggers, SLAs, and workflows within the module. If you have any questions, please contact NG Desk Support.